Hi, Sharon Dammy here with another two minute vocal tip. Well, we've gone over how to speak using our consonants, our vowels, and our diphthongs, how to give every letter in every word its full and intended value. And we've got the basics for uh, diaphragmatic breathing and for support and for vibrato. Now we're going to start adding in some emotion. While good diction is important and the way you speak all of your letters and all of your words are very important, also equally important is the tone or the feeling or the emotion that you put behind the words. They are a very big part of how your, your word is delivered and how it's received. And actually, voice tone and how you speak is 38% of your presentation and the auditory uh, side of how people uh, uh, respond to you when you speak. Only 7% uh, is based on the words you say. That's, that's still important that every letter gets its intended value. But what we're going to bring into this now is more of a feeling of emotion. So what I'm going to do is give you a number of words here, and I will put them in the description box below, for you to say in the mirror, uh, you know, quietly someplace, and to say them with the full impact of the emotion that goes behind the word. And of course, it goes without saying that your facial expression and body language is all part of the mix. When you are really feeling the emotional intent of the word you are speaking, both your face and body language will take on that feeling and then the word when you speak the word or the sentence or whatever it is you want through that emotion, it, the, it will take on the emotion from the face and body as well. And that's what makes it authentic. Now I'm going to give you both a listing of emotions and of descriptive words. And like I said, when you say them, I'd like you to put the full impact of the emotion behind the word. All right, I'm going to start and I will just say each word as it is and try to put the emotion in it for you. Okay, here we go. Anger. Sorrow, shyness, grief, disgust, creepy, tense. Depressed, embarrassed, confused, scared, anxious. Now those words were considered by most as being negative or down, uh, and I truly believe that emotions are neutral. It just depends on what value you put on each emotion. Now I'm going to try some of the ones that are generally considered as lighter or happier. Okay, ready and happiness, <laughs> laughter, <laughs> oh delight. Perkiness, pride, tenderness, surprised, calm, peaceful, relaxed, excited. So did you take note of the body language? Well, maybe not so much the body language in this video, but the facial expression. And what I do first is think about the emotion and then speak it. But no matter what, you still have to make sure that every vowel, consonant, and diphthong is put in place to get the full value of the word and the full impact and help with the full emotion. Now here are some descriptive words that you can play around with. And again, this is up to personal interpretation, uh, but, but there's leeway with it, okay? 
delicious. Ha <laughs> jolly. <laughs> Enchanted. Silky. Cold. Thirsty. Beautiful. Fresh. Revitalized. And here are some negative, potentially negative, description words that uh, you, you, but you may find that they're not, depending on how you want to interpret them. Shiver. Dead. Sick. Stern. Hot. Weeping. Shocked. Tense. So there you go. There's just a few words that you can use to practice with, to play with. And I would suggest, too, if you can find passages that work for you, that give you a particular emotional feeling or whatever it is that you need that you're practicing for, please do so. And remember, the face, the body, the diaphragm, it's all involved and every letter in every word. So you have the voice of your choice. See you next time.